See, and we're already at a point where observatories on Kerbin will be able to observe the results. Where is that mapping satellite? Uh, it's over here. So we're going to crash over here. What direction is this mapping satellite going? That's going the wrong way. I'm actually, I'm going to wait. Yeah, let's wait until yeah, we come around over to the other side. Because I want it to be a place where that mapping satellite can look down and see the results. Actually, I suppose I could go right... Actually, right here is pretty probably a pretty good moment to do it. The, so when it hits, the mapping satellite will be down here, looking at it from from this angle. Uh, Kerbin observatories will be looking from this angle. Yeah, this is a good point to do it. All right, we still clear. I shouldn't have been doing this when I was still relatively close to the other one. All right, point retrograde. Double, triple check that the correct mission is selected. It is. That would have really screwed things up if that wasn't. Throttle up. Periapsis height. All right. I want this. Actually, let's take a look. I want to burn. Let's to, let's make this like a fairly vertical drop. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we, that we just pretty much stopped orbiting at that moment. Uh, maybe it would have been better to work this out so uh, we would be someplace where the Kerbin observatories could see it and the mapping satellite could see it, uh, and it would be in daylight. But I don't know. I'm just not patient enough to set all those things up like that. Uh, any last words, thoughts? Anything you want to say to the lander over there? We. Oh no, Kerbin's going to be behind the horizon. I, I figured that wrong. Oh, I should have slowed down. There's the slowdown, and. Pow! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, there's some debris. Scatter that debris around. Hide the finished goal. Thank you. Finish the mission. Good. Now we're only 174,000 in the hole. <laughs> ah, that was good. Open browser window. Now we want to go to after crashing is fun. What's the next one we want to do? Is the cheese sample. No, no. Uh, cheese sampler? Yeah, impact was fun and all, but now we're considering sending Kerbals to walk on the moon. So we need more detailed measurements of surface conditions there. Land a probe on the moon, it needs to mass at least one ton in order to carry enough scientific equipment. Uh, moon impactor now. That's no longer the moon impactor. Impactor's gone, dudes. Yeah, see, okay, so it went down over here. Yeah, that uh, we may we may have screwed up um we may have screwed up uh, the Kerbin observatories being able to see what it was doing, but uh, I, I believe our, our mapping satellite still had a pretty good view. Let's go to this one. Let's fly it. Uh, lights are already on. Electric charge. Yeah, this one doesn't have any extendable solar panels. This one's kind of done on a shoestring. Let's put that landing gear out there just in anticipation. Very spider-like. I don't know, it's kind of a cute little lander. I think I like it. <laughs> okay, so where are we, are we are? Are we coming around to the daylight side now? Yes, we are. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and burn retrograde right now. This is actually... Uh, this has been a long time since I landed anything on a body other than Kerbin. As I tend to do, and whenever I play this game, I tend to mess around with uh, airplanes above Kerbin almost all the time. And hardly ever get out into space to do all this cool stuff. Uh, let me see, let's double check. Do we need to stage anything? I bet you we do. Yeah, stage that. Good. Okay, throttle up. Uh, let's let's try and aim for like around, around the rim of this this crater, so like pretty close to it. Not actually in the crater, but close to like the rim. Okay, 
Stop right there. Wait till we get a little bit lower. We uh, water propellant. Let's actually turn the RCS off right now, just in case things go wrong and we end up needing a bunch of uh, RCS later. As as it could happen, things like that have been known to happen. Actually, let's roll this right side up. I remember some time, like many months ago, where having the nav ball upside down whilst attempting a moon landing it turned out to be a bad idea. And it was rather embarrassing and shameful and, uh, yeah, let's just not do that again. Yeah, I remember how to do this. Pull that apoapsis down to our lander. Right there, good. All right, and we'll wait a little bit more. Yeah, I still got lots of fuel remaining. Now let's go ahead and rename this thing. Oh, rename vessel. No, this is not the impactor, hopefully. No, this is Landerbot. One. Moon Landerbot one. Thank you. Moon looking bigger yet? It's starting to look bigger. It's starting to see a little bit of surface detail down there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I want to try and move my arc further this way. I'm really going for some kind of right near the edge of this crater. Just because I think that yeah, a boundary between two different regions, yeah, that may be a place where we'd get some interesting science out of it. And this we, oh yeah, we're still in full view of Kerbin at the moment. So that's, that's good. We have good telemetry with the guys back home. Makes the science guys happy. Yeah, there's. I want to land it right around up there. So to that end, let's actually burn straight up for a little bit. Just to extend that arc past the point where I need it to be. Yeah, wait a few minutes, we'll do it again. Okay, good. Now our next burns. I should have planned this out a little bit more thoroughly ahead of time. We'll wait some more and we'll start burning more horizontally. Out of curiosity, let's let's pal oh actually wasn't the Oh! I wasn't even planning that. Yeah, we're gonna land in a cathane deposit. How about that idea, huh? Actually, right, my desired, my aiming, my aimed point is just outside the cathane de deposit. But we're not going to get into any kind of cathane mining for a while yet. I, I'm undecided if we're even going to do that on this save. We may That may wait for a different save file, different series, in order to do any of that. Yeah, it should slow us down significantly without changing our arc too very much. And we're down to a halfway point in fuel. Okay. Yep, this seems to be working as planned. I think I like it. And shut it off. Okay. Still maybe being kind of concerned about the fuel. Like, maybe I didn't really plan this out. I just kind of eyeballed it. Oh, sure, that'll be enough. Why wouldn't it be enough? So let's let's wait some before we do this next burn, huh? Let's wait till we get down right, right around here. I remember my first moon landing like it was yesterday. Cobbled together space plane. Had to burn retrograde on the main engines then like the last thousand meters up or somewhere's about had to do this 90 degree change in orientation to uh, lower the thing down in RCS. Lower it down horizontally in RCS for the last bit. That was fun. Fun days. I enjoyed it. And then, then I got down there and I, I realized that I didn't actually know how to get back to Kerbin, so I just kind of eyeballed it and guessed it. <laughs> and it worked. Oh, that was a fun time. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, I wonder if we could play around with, like, maneuver nodes, like, right here. 
I, ne I never have. What's my my vessel's total delta V is like 716. Hello, maneuver node. You know what happened if we if we planned on burning retrograde right then? I just, I I, I want to assure myself that 716 meters per second is enough to do what I want to do. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, we've yeah it takes. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. Okay. It just it just occurred to me to try and use maneuver node like that. Maybe other people more proficient in maneuver nodes. You already, you already knew about that trick. It just occur it occurred to me though. Let's rotate our probe at this point. Things. This this sentence that I just said. This is goes under a category of things you never want to hear from your doctor. Are we over the desired landing area yet? It's interesting to see. So if we look that straight up, well, no, not really, because I'm wanting to kind of like, I want to go for like this area here, and we're not there yet. Okay. I'm looking at the fuel. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm sh I'm sure it is. I mean, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> okay. I think our next burn. We need to go and we need to cease being an arc and attempt to make it pure vertical. Okay, there we go. So that's pretty vertical. Barely any fuel left, but it'll be fine. Okay, let's drop it down to like 50 meters per second. Yeah, like that. Good. Turn RCS on and also thrust on it with RCS like this. It's light enough that the RCS can actually make a pretty significant difference. Here's five meters per second down. Uh, let's not let this get away. I want this to be going straight vertical, dudes. Yeah, like that. Altitude. Okay, we actually need to throttle down some and allow this to drop a little. Use that RCS. I think we may even be able to just do the rest of this on RCS. Oh, let's see. Okay, guys. Now oh, there's our shadow. You're looking all low, low texture, low quality, and pixelated. But it is our shadow. Good. We're already slow enough. This shouldn't hurt anything. Thud. All right, kind of a rough landing, but it worked. You know, I just, I just, it, it was below this negative ten per second, so that was cool. All right, that was like actually my first moon landing in several months. That's kind of fun. Wow, the textures suck. I'm, I need to take a look at. Can I turn the quality back up? Because they they made they made this place look pretty, and I 
And I just, I just had to turn things down. All right, cool. Before I forget, let's go with this one. Hide the finished goal. Uh, yep, uh, 25 per deducted 25% for loans to say nothing of killing three Kerbals. Uh, finish the mission. Now we're only 114,000 in the hole. <laughs> All right, shut that thing off. Okay. Successful. Successful landing. Yeah, yeah. Moon, Moonbot was a, what I call Landerbot one. Landerbot one is a success. I think this is a good validation of the uh, of this design of the the pancake the pancake probe, the pancake style. I think I like it. Okay, so now let's go and take a look at what is going on with the jackass, the Minmus Impactor. Let's go take a look at that thing. Yeah, so we're not, yeah, we're not even halfway, not even halfway to Minmus. We haven't crossed the moon's orbit yet. <laughs> 